Hi, my name is Aaron Alfred de la Cruz. They call me Coach A, and I'm a owner and coach here at CrossFit in Sorrento. I'm a level one certified CrossFit coach. I hold the uh, current powerlifting squat total here in the Philippines. I coach people to do CrossFit, do powerlifting, and Olympic weightlifting. Before I started having my own gym and doing CrossFit and teaching CrossFit, uh, I used to do Brazil Jiu Jitsu also. I'm still doing some of it right now. Just started the training and I was a powerlifter for a long time. I was also strength and conditioning coaching and doing other businesses. I got into CrossFit um, because of the fact that I like how it's set up. It's a class-based setting for a workout. I wasn't into doing personal training so much. I like the group setting. And with a CrossFit venue of teaching, I realized it's the best venue for me to help other people um, get fitter and at the same time get stronger because that's my advocacy here in CrossFit. I always teach people that when you get stronger, everything becomes easier, the sport becomes easier, your movements becomes easier. So basically, the main manifesto of CrossFit in Sorrento is the fact that we get people stronger. CrossFit in Sorrento is an affiliate by CrossFit PSA. CrossFit is started by Greg Glassman. It's a general physical preparedness program wherein we use functional movements at a high intensity and constantly changing the workouts so that all of the different facets of fitness or the categories of fitness are always touched upon so that your body or the trainee will always adapt to different stimulus altogether. When your body adapts to different stimulus, that's when you get to move better. And that's how we do it in CrossFit, by having different classes, different workouts each day, or workouts a day, we call it the what, and we share it to all the clients that we have, that way they can always learn something new. Our difference in other gyms here, uh, other boxes here in the Philippines, here at CrossFit Sorrento, we always start with skill. We always make them do squats on Mondays, then lifts on Fridays. So after the skill, that's when they can always go to the work on the day of the or the wall. We have squat cages, Olympic weightlifting, cover plates, Olympic bars. So how we have, whatever we do things here in CrossFit and Sonecto, it's always uh, world class and at the same time different all the time. Okay, uh, all of our clients stay with us because of fact they get results, even with nutrition and, and their training. And they're, besides that their bodies are get, getting better, they look better. Their mentality and their mental toughness always always goes a high, higher notch all the time. A typical class here at CrossFit Quebec, in Sorrento goes with the warm up. We ask our clients to go for a self myofascial release using PVC pipes or foam rolling. After that, they have specific warm up of static stretches, dynamic warm ups, and some mobility exercises. That way, after that, after doing the warm up. When they go to the strength or skill for that particular day, ready, 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 katawan nila all the time. Katapos nun, mag work on na sila. They, they probably would do bench press, or squats, or Olympic weightlifting, gymnastics, or deadlift. Doon nag-umitot minsan yung mga ginagawa natin during uh, skill or strength technique. After that, a few minutes before, few minutes na skill or strength training, we go straight to the workout of the day, or, or what? During the wall, it's a, it's a 10 to 15 minute workout na high intensity all the time na minimix namin body weight movements, barbell movements, sometimes um, even out of the loop, may progress kami dito, running movement, yung mga ganun bagay. It's always changing all the time so that different stimulus is touched upon by your body at, uh, at each day that you guys, that our clients are here. So here at CrossFit is like, when they do, when they do the wall here, it's classified into three, three levels of the time. Kasi hindi naman pare-pare yung fitness levels ng mga tao. So we try to cater to everyone from the highest fitness level to the lowest fitness level. We divide into three levels. The big dog workout na, naki, na ginagawa ng mga malalakas and everything. Yung mga high elite athletes na, almost elite athletes na. And those who are really strong at CrossFit, they do the big dog workout. For those in transition from puppy to big dog, and yung mga nagpapahinga na big dogs, they go to the house dog workout. Or whatever that they can probably do at that certain time. And for those who are new, we always make them go 
to the public workout. It's rare that someone new goes here and immediately matas kagad yung level of fitness nila. Usually happens it's a progressive overload system. Then they start low, then they go up the ladder. It's almost the same thing. That way, wala masisirang patawa na tao. Second, it's always high intensity. Wala masyado mo papahinga. Third, you can always push your body to the, to the limit of what whatever category you are at that point. This is the difference to other process boxes because we always see to it that we scale down the movements, we scale down the reps, we scale down to whatever fitness level you may, you may be at that moment of time. That way, see to it that you can go back the next day and work out again without injuring yourself in the process. We are encouraging everyone to live a healthier lifestyle, fight for a fitter fit means. You can always contact us at www.positivesrecto.com You can check out, check out our Facebook page, you can check out our Twitter page, check out our Instagram page so that you can always be updated on what we do here at Positives Recto. And for whatever fitness questions you may have, always shoot us. Uh, I advise everyone to live a healthier lifestyle. Eat good food, always train, always get moving all the time. That way you can always have a healthier lifestyle and live your life to the fullest. This is Coach A for Project Lifestyle Manila.